Hey there, welcome back to your daily dose of cinema. Today, we've got something special for you. We're going to shine a spotlight on 10 amazing actors who are not just breaking barriers, but also paving new paths for a more inclusive representation in film and TV. These brilliant souls have not only gifted us with their significant contributions to the arts, but they've also courageously embraced their transgender identities, inspiring countless others on their journey. Hats off to them. So stay tuned because you might be surprised to discover some familiar faces and learn more about their journeys. Let's get started. Number 10, Alexis up, Arquette. No, you mother The first on our list is Alexis Arquette. Movie buffs might recognize her from supporting roles in successful films such as Pulp Fiction, Bride of Chucky, and The Wedding Singer. Alexis Arquette is a member of the famous Arquette acting family. Just like her siblings Rosanna, Patricia, Richmond, and David, she has appeared in numerous films and television programs over the years. Alexis's transition was captured in the documentary Alexis Arquette, She's My Brother which premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival in 2007. Yes, you did, Brett. You tried to fuck it. And Marcellus Wallace don't like to be fucked by anybody except Mrs. Wallace. God, Brett, I don't do you read the Bible, Brett. Yes! Well, there's this passage. Before we continue, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content that celebrates inclusivity and diversity. It's a small gesture for you, but very bit of support makes a big difference for us. Let's keep rolling. Number 9. MJ Rodriguez. Well, a house is the family you get to choose. I'm a house mother. I provide a support system for my children and housing if you need it. Together we compete in the balls of town. MJ Rodriguez, winner of the 2022 Golden Globe for Best Actress for her work in Pose, was born on January 7, 1991. She wanted to be an actress since she was a child and started her acting career with stage shows and episodes in TV programs. In 2016, she began the transition process and subsequently emerged as a transgender actress. Watch the video until the end because there will be surprises on the podium of our top 10 regarding the Pose series. I love you, mother. I love you too. Forever. Number eight, Alex Blue Davis. Then yes. Alex Blue Davis is a highly talented transgender actor and indie rock singer who has garnered considerable success and acclaim for his involvement in ABC's popular medical drama, Grey's Anatomy. Throughout the series, Davis brilliantly portrayed the character of Dr. Casey Parker. This character is a transgender veteran who, after serving his country, decided to devote his life to medicine by becoming an aspiring doctor at the prestigious Grey Sloan Memorial Hospital. This role provided Davis with the opportunity to bring the representation of a transgender character on screen in a mainstream context, contributing to a wider discourse on diversity and inclusion. Number 7, right Elliot Page. This is your first lesson in shared gaming. Stay calm. The Canadian actor and producer Elliot Page, born as Ellen Page on February 21st, 1987, and assigned female at birth, is famous for his memorable performances in Inception and Umbrella Academy. For many years, he was known to the general public as Ellen, until he announced his transition in December 2020, becoming a media phenomenon and a source of inspiration for the transgender world. Number six, India Moore. Maybe we want to get married in the winter time. We can make that happen. Really? Marry me. Of course. <laughs> At number six, we find India Moore, born on January 17th, 1995, is an actress and model, 
also known for her role in Pose, where together with MJ Rodriguez, she interprets one of the main characters of the series. In 2019, Time magazine included India among the 100 most influential people of the year. The actress has declared herself transgender and non-binary, and is also one of the most influential celebrity advocating for trans rights in America. Hey, Poppy. I didn't drink that much, I swear. I want to glow for the wedding. Number 5. Thank Patty you. Harrison Thanks for having me. Now, Jimmy, I'm a transgender woman, and as a trans person, it's hard to articulate exactly how I feel. But I guess if I had to describe it, I'd say, Donald, you're so stupid. Patty Harrison is an actress and comedian who gained prominence after an appearance in 2017 on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Since then, Harrison has appeared as Ruthie in the Hulu series Shrill. In several episodes of the Netflix sketch comedy series, I think you should leave with Tim Robinson, and as a potential surrogate and university hope in the film Together Together. Get your yogurt out of the fridge or I'm gonna kill myself. Fine. What? Just trust me, get the fuck out of here. Number four, Josie Tota. Slater says you're the new team captain and we have to carry you to your next class. Sure. Why not? Josie Tota, an actress increasingly appreciated by critics, became famous thanks to her role in the Disney Channel series, Jessie. Tota started her career playing male roles, but in August 2018, she publicly declared herself a trans woman, changing her name to Josie. After her transformation, she returned to the screen in the role of Lexi Haddad in Saved by the Bell, where she also works as a producer. Your eyes sparkle like the ocean. My eyes are brown. <laughs> Number three, Dominique Jackson. I can see from your sad little wedding band that you are married, but that doesn't mean that you've had any real contact with a woman for quite some time. Dominique Jackson is famous for having acted in American Horror Story and American Gods, and together with MJ Rodriguez and India Moore in the TV series Pose. Dominique has always been a declared activist in the transgender world, contributing to the cause even before her surgery in 2015. The closest proximity to a vagina would have been at your birth. So. We can excuse the fact that you cannot see the royalty gracing your store. Number two, Elliot Fletcher. Hey, you uh, get rid of the dude with the lady parts? What was his name? Wow. Trevor. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, thanks. I just you would have never known. I mean, you, you look real. Oh, dude. You look real, too. Elliot Fletcher is a well-known transgender actor. He began his acting career in 2016 with his first transgender role in the MTV series, Faking It. He later portrayed other transgender characters like Trevor in Shameless and Aaron Baker in The Fosters. Fletcher has also appeared in major TV shows like Why the Last Man. As a prominent figure for transgender rights, he inspires others in the transgender community. Fletcher actively uses his social media to promote his ideas and help others, encouraging his young fans to pursue their own life goals. Later. Okay. Number one, Ian Alexander. The day we met, I felt something I've never felt before. And I don't want to let that go. Born in 2001, Ian Alexander made his debut at just 15 years old in the role of the transgender teenager Buck Vu in the Netflix series OA. To portray the character, he drew from his own transition experience after responding to an online casting call and before going viral for his response to some transphobic initiatives. In 2020, he voiced the character of Lev in The Last of Us Part II and acted in the role of Grey Tal in the series Star Trek. Discovery. It's everything I'd imagined. I can't believe I get to start my life again. I could become a host again, finish my training to be a guardian. I, I could. Anything. And with that, 
our top 10 comes to an end. Thank you for watching. We hope their stories have inspired you and broadened your perspective on the diversity and richness of talent within the entertainment industry. If you have thoughts or stories you'd like to share, please leave a comment below. Let's continue to support and uplift voices from all corners of the community. See you in the next video.